interesting rocks you see behind me are part of what's called the Charlie Brown outcrop. And no, not that Charlie Brown. It's actually named after the founder of a nearby town, but it's a really cool outcrop. So let's go check it out. The outcrop is pretty fascinating geologically for a lot of reasons. If we look at it, we see all these different colors and textures going on. We have volcanic rock, we actually have tuff back there, and we also have some sedimentary rocks. We have sandstones and conglomerates. You can see here, this is a conglomerate. This band up here is sandstone, and above that is the tuff, the volcanic rock. The whole time I've been talking about it, you've probably been staring at that odd dark band back there. What is that? All right, so we've got a bunch of layers of sedimentary rocks here, black band, maybe that's a coal seam. But wait a minute, it's sandwiched in between volcanic rock, that tuff. That doesn't seem to fit. Okay, well, since it's a band going through volcanic rock, I know, maybe it's a dike, it's some sort of intrusion. I've seen a lot of intrusions like this in this area that go through dolomites or creating talc all over this region. Let's take a closer look. Upon closer inspection, this stuff looks a lot like obsidian. This stuff, this vitrifier forms within the body of a tuff, in this case, a welded tuff, and that implies to us that the material was really hot, so hot that it actually fused or welded the, the, all the material together. And the vitrifier formed within the, within the body of the tuff, so it stayed hot for even longer than the whole mass. And because it stayed so hot, it squeezed out the gases and formed this dark, glassy substance. So there you have it, welded tufts, vitrifier, and volcanoes creating the Charlie Brown outcrop. I'll see you guys next time here at Let's Go Geo for more geo adventures.